All pilots have a bucket list of safety equipment for their aircraft. Mine has always been an angle of attack display. Long before the FAA General Aviation Joint Steering Committee agreed to make minor alteration for installing it in certified general aviation aircraft. After much research, I settled on the Alpha Systems angle of attack version. I happened to meet Mark, the owner at Oshkosh, and found him to be an encyclopedia of knowledge about all things AOA. Installation time was about 20 hours, and I had to have an ANP make two revisions of the probe angle from the standard install of 50 degrees to 40 degrees because of the placement of the AOA probe near the trailing edge. The wing's camber changes the air pressure on the probe. Once done, the calibration was a simple process. Initialize and calibrate on the ground, then fly at clean stall speed plus 30 plus degrees 30%. for VS1 times 1.3. After that, fly it at maneuvering speed and voila, the calibration is complete. Both these speeds and flight are weight adjusted since the VS1 and VA are based on the gross weight of the aircraft. In this video, allow me to take you on a discovery journey of the Alpha Systems AOA and its lift displaying capability at various air speeds. The aircraft was flown at all speeds to generate the various HUD depictions. A black cover was placed behind the HUD for the camera to pick up the display better. In natural sunlight, the display is visible to the naked eye easily. After several flights, the consistency of the AOA in depicting the lift safety characteristics are quite impressive. From cruise to maneuvering speeds to 45 degree banks to 60 degree banks and 360 turns to slow speeds, stalls in clean configuration and dirty configuration and through an RNAV approach to a runway. If you enjoy this, uh, please subscribe. There's no monetary advantage to me except I know someone is watching and enjoying it as much as I do creating the videos. So thank you for enjoying and hope you learn something from this.
hundred.